हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लास सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट एप्लीकेशन रिलेटेड टू बर्नोलीज प्रिंसिपल सो व्हाट आर द प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन वे आर हैविंग रिलेटेड टू बर्नोलीज प्रिंसिपल फॉर एग्जांपल वर्किंग ऑफ ऑटोमाइजर और स्प्रेयर इज इन्वॉल्व द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बर्नोलीज प्रिंसिपल एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्पिनिंग ऑफ द बॉल मैग्नेट मैग्नेस इफेक्ट वर गोइंग टू कॉल दैट इज सो दैट मैग्नेट्स इफेक्ट इज ड्यू टू बर्नोलीज प्रिंसिपल एंड अ ब्लड फ्लो एंड हार्ट अटैक इन Involves the concept of Bernoulli's principle and how that BP machine is going to work. So that is also practical applications related to Bernoulli's principle. How that aircraft is going to work. So how that aircraft is going to lift the body. So it is all related to Bernoulli's principle. So we'll discuss that practical applications related to Bernoulli's principle. applications related to bernoulli's principle so right for example first we'll discuss that how that atomizer or sprayers are going to work atomizer or sprayer for example in case of that atomizer or sprayer i will take one container here that container is filled with liquid right this is one container this container is filled with liquid now i will dip one pipe into the container right for example this is one horizontal pipe so to this horizontal pipe one side i will provide one small opening here here i will provide one small opening and another side i will apply one rubber like structure right for example when i am going to press this rubber for example this is rubber you can take it here right for example when i am going to press this rubber then what happens here so that air is rushes into this horizontal pipe for example look at here when that rubber is going to press then air will get rush into this horizontal pipe so as a result of increase in velocity in that horizontal pipe here pressure is going to decrease here for example this pressure is p2 pressure in the horizontal pipe is p2 and pressure in this container will be p1 look at here when this rubber is going to press then what happens here here air is going to rush here so velocity is going to increase here as a result of increase in velocity from that bernoulli's principle pressure value will get decrease here as a result of increase in kinetic energy kinetic energy value increases means here pressure value will get decrease here p2 value is less than that of p1 here p1 is nothing but atmospheric pressure you can consider here so look at here here when the p2 value is getting decrease means then here p1 value is more than that of p2 as a result of that difference in the pressure here pressure p1 is more here pressure p2 is less because of differ in the pressure so this liquid is rising upward direction so look at here whatever the liquid is present in this container this liquid is going to rise upward direction because of that small hole so it will get into a different fragments small fragments are going to produce here so look at here in case of that atomizer or sprayer when that rubber is going to press here here air velocity is increases as a result of increase in velocity in the horizontal pipe pressure value will get decrease here as a result of decrease in pressure that container containing certain kind of liquid here this liquid pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure i will consider here atmospheric pressure value is greater than that of p2 value so as a result of this liquid level is getting rising upward direction so this is the working nature of atomizer or sprayer we can consider for example take this is one container so look at here 
one small pipe is there that pipe is dipped into that water here for example if i am going to press here so here one horizontal pipe is there so here velocity is going to increase here as a result of increase in velocity pressure in case of this horizontal pipe is less as a result of less pressure in the horizontal pipe so this liquid is getting rising upward direction so you may observe that so these water droplets are coming out of this container so this is how atomizer or sprayer are going to work here so hope you get this thing okay next we will we'll understand about that spinning of the ball so that spinning of the ball also we can call it as magnus effect here for example if i am going to throw one ball without making any kind of that twist in the direction for example i will take one ball here i am going to throw the ball in this direction it is moving with the velocity v so this ball is not making any kind of turn so the ball is moving without making any turn then here air particles above the ball so i will take that the air particle below the ball here so look at here this velocity is v look at here when the ball is thrown without making any kind of that spin without making any kind of spin if i'm going to throw the ball then the air particle present above the surface of the ball and the air particle present below the surface of the ball is same so it means that velocity of the air above the ball and velocity of the air below the ball is same as a result of same velocity pressure at the top and pressure at the bottom is the same pressure at the top let it be p1 pressure at the bottom let it be p2 there is no pressure difference if there is no pressure difference means ball is moving in a same direction without making any kind of change in a direction so look at here if i am going to throw the ball without making any kind of turn so then velocity of the air particle above the ball and the velocity of the air particle below the ball is same as a result of same velocity pressure at the top and pressure at the bottom is same so there is no pressure difference at the top side of the ball and as well as at the bottom side of the ball if there is no pressure difference means there is no change in direction of the ball ball is moving in a same direction it doesn't suffers any kind of change in its direction if suppose if i am going to swing the ball so if i am going to swing the ball then what happens here so look at here if i am going if i am going to swing the ball here the ball is turning if i am going to spin the ball so look at here so this is the ball i can consider if i am going to throw this ball without making any kind of spin here so the ball is moving in a same direction right for example in this situation the air particle present above the ball and the air particle present below the ball having the same velocity as a result of same velocity there exists a same pressure at the top and at the bottom so the ball is moving straight line direction without suffers any kind of change in direction if suppose if i am going to spin the ball as a result of spinning the ball that top side of the ball will drags the air particle look at here if i am going to swing the ball that swinging the ball or spinning the ball can drag the air particle upside the ball so the air particle above the surface of the ball is more than that of bottom here look at here so as a result of spinning the ball if i are going to try to spin the ball the air particle above the surface of the ball is more as compared to that of below as a result of this velocity at the top is more v1 is more than that of v2 here so look at here so when the ball is going to spin so as a result of spinning the ball so because of this spin this spin will drags the air particle above the surface of the ball as a result of this speed of the air above the ball is more v1 is greater than that of v2 here 
सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ डिफरेंस इन वेलासिटी प्रेजर पी वन इज टॉप एंड पी टू इज बॉटम सो फ्रॉम द बर्नोलिज प्रिंसिपल वी वन इज मोर मीन्स पी वन इज लेस देन दैट ऑफ पी टू इट मीन्स दैट प्रेजर एट द टॉप इज लेस कंपेर टू द टॉफ बॉटम हियर सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस सो प्रेजर एट द टॉप इज लेस देन द टॉफ बॉटम हियर राइट बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफरेंस इन प्रेजर नेट अपवर्ड फोर्स इज मोर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट नेट अपवर्ड फोर्स सॉरी बिकॉज ऑफ दैट नेट अपवर्ड फोर्स because of that net upward force ball is change in its direction so look at here in case of that spinning the ball as a result of spinning the ball the air particle that ball will drags the air particle top of the ball here as a result of this velocity of the air at the top of the ball is more as a result of that more velocity pressure is less at the top compared to the top bottom because of the difference in pressure at the top and the bottom so net upward force is more as a result of this ball is going to change in its original direction this is all about magnus effect right and one more application is related to Uh, Bernoulli's principle is aircraft here. So, in case of that aircraft, so look at here third application. So, in case of that aircraft, so if you observe that wings of the air, that wings of the air, sorry, that wings of that. Aircraft is curve at the top compared to the top bottom. So, sorry, we'll redraw it. So, if you observe that wings of the aircraft, that wings of the aircraft is curve at the top compared to the top bottom, because of this curve shape. So, you observe that because of this curve shape, then what happens here? Velocity of the air particle present at the top is. having more velocity as compared to the top bottom so look at here that wings of the aircraft is curve in structure top side is curve and bottom side is flat in shape because of that curve shape velocity is more here velocity of the air particle at the top of the uh, wing is more compared to the top bottom as a result of greater velocity v1 is greater than v2 means here pressure p1 and here pressure p2 pressure p1 is less than that of p2 it means that so pressure p2 is acting upward direction here right so p1 is less than that of p2 means so here so the direction p2 is acting vertically upward direction p2 is greater than p1 means this p2 will lift the object here so look at here in case of that aircraft it is going to lift the object here in order to lift the object how the wings are means uh, the role of wing is for example so wings are curve in structure i said as a result of this the air particle present at the top of the wing is having greater velocity compared to the top so bottom said as a result of this pressure p1 is less than the top p2 here so upside there is less pressure means bottom side is having more pressure so p2 is upward direction because of this p2 this p2 will so will take the body in a upward direction this is how aircraft is going to work here and one more thing in case of that for example roof of the house somehow is going to fly away the reason for that is for example here that air is moving with velocity v1 so here velocity v1 is greater than that of v2 here right again the same thing here pressure p2 is there here pressure p1 is there p2 is going to lift the body in a upward direction p1 is less than that of p2 here as a result of more p2 value so this p2 will lift the roof here so this is because of that bernoulli